I'm going to show you where to get all eight of the sheet musics in the slums in Stray. And then I'm also going to show you where to turn them in if you don't already know. So the very first one, I'm just going to do this one by one as best I can in order. So the first one, um, I'm over here by the way, by the guardian guy to use him as a landmark. We're going to head up this, go up to here, jump over to here. We're going to head up to here, and then up to here, and then up to here. And then down here, and this of course is not the only way to get up here. There's multiple ways to traverse this. So we're gonna go through here. Or whoop! Oh, didn't even jump that mistake. Okay, never mind. Right where we are. So by the paint bucket throwing guys, uh, we're gonna go up here and jump up here, jump up here, jump up here, jump through this window. It's part of the main story. We're gonna head over into this room though. Instead of talking to him, head over into here, jump up on this box, jump on this box, and right here on the shelf, I already, I already grabbed it. But it will be right here, and that will be sheet music one of eight. Okay, so that is one of eight. Now we're going to get two of eight. So we're going to get back out of here. We're going to ride the bucket down and spin in a circle as is tradition while meowing. Okay. Now we're going to go this way and this way. We're going to head towards Clementine's apartment. We're going to head over here, but we're going to stop short. We're going to jump up here, and right on top of this table is sheet music two of eight. Okay, so... Number three is going to be, go down here, we need to get down to ground level. So, as a reference, there is the, um, the guardian guy. So we're going to head down this way, we'll run past the bar, and then we're going to make a left and then a right, where we'll see grandma off in the distance, and there's this door right here. And if you go up to the door, and you scratch, then, if you wait a minute, this guy will open the door, and you can just walk right in. And right underneath of this postcard is sheet music three of eight. Okay, and while you're in here, fast your way out, and you should just do this anyway. Head up into here, and you can scratch on this in order to open the window and get out. Or you just got the way you came in. I'll have to wait for the guy again, though. Okay, so now we're going to head back to this guy. And he, not him, but we're going to head over to here, just using him as a reference. This guy sells the next sheet music, and you'll need... A can. So real quick, let me just buy it, and then I'll show you one of the places to get a can. If you want to know where all four cans are, check the description of this video. I made a video on how to get all four of the cans. Okay, so you spend one energy drink can. You show them an item. Pick an energy drink. Okay, here you go. Now I got sheet music, four of eight. Now if you want a quick one, you can pick up any energy cans yet. Uh, one of them is over here. These two machines, the one on the right. You go up to and interact with this and it will spit out an energy drink, and then you'll pick it up off the ground, and then you'll have one. There's four of them total. Like I said, I have a video in the description of this video that will show you where to get that. Okay, so the next one's really close by. We're gonna head over to the bar. Is it Duffy Bar? I think it's Duffy Bar. Duffer Bar. So we're gonna head upstairs, and then you head up these stairs, and it was, I wanna say it was on this table. It was, I think it was on this table. If not, it was on the other table, but it was on one of these tables, I think. And then, then you just pick it up off of here. And then you've got number five. So from here, we could jump out of here if we want. Well, I don't know if this is actually the fastest way. If I can get up here, it is. So we're going to jump up here, and then jump up here, and then jump up over here. Try to get up right here. Get up over here. So here we are, we got the other one. Well, this time we're going to head into Clementine's actual apartment. So just as a reference again, see where I'm at. If that helps at all. Okay, Clementine's apartment. So we're gonna jump through here, and right over here, I haven't even grabbed it yet on this save, take sheet music six of eight. So there's six of eight. Now we need number seven. So number seven is gonna be in the library. So if you don't know where the library is, it is gonna be over this way. And we're gonna run over to here, and jump down here. You can see the blue thingy over there. Gonna jump up here and then jump over to here. Now we're in the library. And again, as a reference, that helps. Here's me looking back across the city. Okay, now in here, you'll head over this way and you will play the grand piano. Uh, I forget exactly where it was. I think it was right over here, just sticking on the front of the piano or something. And while you're here, be sure to run back and forth in the piano just for fun. Okay, so that is seven of eight. Now, eight of eight is gonna be kind of annoying. Uh, it's gonna take a little while, so we need to head all the way back now, as fast as our four little paws can take us. I'm trying to get back to the guy we use as a landmark. This entire city, I just use the Guardian as a landmark. So, for number eight, we're gonna head over this way, 
And way back in this corner over here is this safe. Now, I already opened it, but on top of it will be a purple note, a pink note. And you pick it up and you uh, open your inventory. I think mine's gone now. Yeah, I used it, consumed it already, but uh, you'll look at it and show it to B12, and he will tell you that it was, uh, says follows the numbers, and then it's in binary, which is, that's your hint. So, if you go over here, and if you ever look at any of these signs, you know there's a guy that is the, uh, Elliot Programming. Okay, well that one, if you open the shortcut earlier, or you can just go through that one door that I showed you earlier in the video. If you open the shortcut, though, you can go this way and this way, jump through this window again. Oh, and then it backwards controls. Okay. Get in here and talk to this guy. After you talk to him, use the, you know, show item button at the bottom, like this. And just show him the item, which then he'll give you a hint saying that it says, uh, Duffer Bar. So then you're, okay, so I need to go to Duffer Bar. Alright. So then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna go over into here, and you're gonna jump up on the counter, and head over here, and this painting, it'll let you interact with it. And then you interact with the painting, and it'll fall down and reveal this number, 1283. Okay, so now you have 1283. So now you would head back over here to the safe and you would type in 1283 into the safe that's in this corner. That will give you sheet music 8 of 8. Okay, now that we have all of them, and I'm even turned them in on this save, this guy, same area. So again, just as a reference, uh, there's the guardian. You head left from him, go over to this guy, and we're going to talk with him. And then after you talk with him, uh, you can show him an item and show him sheet music. And then he will play the sheet music for you. And if you want, you can sleep here and listen to him just to, you know, role play, basically. And, uh, yeah, that's how you turn in the sheet musics one by one. Now, it's important to know that you can't skip him playing the music, so you're gonna have to listen to each and every one if you want to turn them all in which is going to take a little while. This one's called Mildly Important Information, composed by a renowned algorithm. So yeah, like I said, when he's playing, you just, there's no contextual menu at all. So your best bet just to wait it out and let him play whatever the song is and then turn in every single one until you've turned in all eight of the sheet musics. Also, I learned something really important. Do not sleep if you want to actually get through this, because while you're sleeping, he'll actually just repeat the song when it's over, and you'll have to listen to it a second time. So don't sleep if you're just trying to get through this. When you turn the last one, he says, hey, that's the last music sheet. You've done very well, little one. Have this badge as a token of my gratitude. Music badge, gained a new item. And then he'll play the song. And I got the achievement called Meowlody. Okay, well, there you go. And after you're done, you talk to him again, he just says, thank you for all that, I'm a great musician now. And that's it, and I don't think there's any way to get him to play the songs again, unless you can do it from, like, right here, and, uh... I think you're just done, unless there's something I'm missing, I think you only get to listen to him one time. So, definitely lay down and enjoy them if you're enjoying the song, because this is your only chance to hear it unless you want to play another game. Now, there's one other thing I'd like to show you, is that badge is actually on the cat. You can barely see it, like, I'll see if I can zoom it on the video editor if I remember, but it's right there on the side of his little backpack thing. You can see the little music note. So that is the reward on top of the achievement. And that is how to get all eight of the music sheets and where to turn them in in Stray.